Ahoy, mateys. Trainer Steve checking in for this Momentum Morning, the Tuesday edition, I think, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're here holding you accountable to your habits. Make sure you're commenting below with the habit that you're working on today if you're watching this later. And if you're live, make sure you're just saying hello. And uh, good morning to everybody in the house. Today we're covering four foods that we really want to consider when it comes to what we're eating. These four foods I see in a lot of the top fitness competitors, a lot of the top figure competitors, the top bodybuilders, top athletes, top aesthetic people who have bodies that look good. These are four foods that I notice a lot of them are eating, especially in 2020. So with that, without further ado, here are four foods that we should be considering into our diet. Number one on the menu, eggs. Eggs are the plethora of wonderful eggs. Eggs, they have tons of vitamins and minerals, omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin A, E, D, K, calcium, iron, zinc, thiamine, riboflavin, and all the rest of that, especially choline. Don't forget about choline. Choline is key to your creativity and mental capacity. How about the next one, number two, lentils. Lentils are a miracle of nutrition. According to that guy, lentils uh, are very high in fiber, which help you keep your uh, carbohydrates at a low while still feel like you're eating something kind of similar to rice or a starchy substance. So they make a great dish to add some sort of meat and veggies to uh, and get your very healthy, complex carbohydrates in. Here are some of the health benefits of lentils, 1 through 10. There are all kinds of different benefits. I won't read them all, but it does help with blood sugar regulation and your cholesterol, uh, as well as support your heart health and digestive system so long as your body can handle them. Some people can't handle lentils, but that's not everybody. So if you think that you don't get any gut distress from them and you enjoy them, I would highly consider putting them into your diet. They, generally speaking, make me feel better when my blood sugar feels a little bit wily. So consider that. Number three, Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt, be a Greek god by putting down the Greek yogurt. Helping, again, with so many benefits. There's 10 right there from superfoodsanctuary.com. Thank you for letting us borrow this. Better digestion, weight loss, feminine health, stronger bones. I don't even know why it says feminine health. It helps masculine health, too. It's got all kinds of great stuff in there. You get vitamin D and calcium and protein, collagen, all kinds of good stuff. Men need that, too. Regular, uh, It just regulates your heart, blood pressure, and everything else in your body. Probiotics, of course you want probiotics. Tons and tons of data coming out about how important your gut health is and how important it is to have good bacteria in your gut. So again, you know, Greek yogurt for me is something that I personally am eating every, oops, something that I'm personally eating daily. Uh, it's a very important food to me. Number four, steak. Steak. I have a steak and steak. How do I like my steak? Right next to the other one. The only superfood. This is the only superfood. If you've been paying attention, you may have heard of the carnivore diet. A lot of meat eaters out there are really pushing. Maybe it's a pushback against the big vegan movement. Uh, I don't like to say I pick sides, but obviously I'm kind of pro-meat. So uh, I'm an advocate of people pushing, not pushing, but uh, generating energy around their ideas that they're passionate about. And uh, so I'm for veganism and I'm for saving animals and not being cruel. But at the same time, we sustain on meat. We've lived off of meat for millions of years. And it's quite frankly, the only food that's no, so nutrient dense, you could completely eat that for every meal for years and not develop a nutrient deficiency. Now you go try to eat spinach and wheatgrass for an entire month and you would probably be so deficient that you would be experiencing severe mood swings. You would might not even survive, really. Your systems would start to shut down pretty quick, uh, and you would have a lot of IBS. You'd have so many issues, so many issues, protein deficiencies, etc. So steak is our number four one that we have a steak in. Look at all of the nutrition in steak. Iron, again, choline, like I mentioned, for your nervous system, which is so important to how you feel and think. Protein to build up that muscle and all the structure of your body. Selenium to prevent cell damage, riboflavin, niacin, phosphorus, zinc for that healthy immune system to fight off COVID. We have all of the reasons why we want, and especially iron, because we know that um, iron deficiencies, amenorrhea, I believe that's what that's called, uh, is a big issue, especially with women reaching menopausal age. 
Uh, and I've seen that with some of my clients uh, and other females I've worked with, that iron can be an issue. So if you bleed a lot as well, that could be another problem. So think about it. Beef is a great option for you. Also, don't forget creatine. Creatine is one of the most proven supplements uh, out there to help aid in your fitness programs and also a cognitive enhancer. So there you go. That's one through four for us here. We got eggs. Eggs is a tremendous benefit to us. Lentils, number two. Number three, Greek yogurt. And number four, let's get that superfood in, steak. All right, everybody. If you have any other superfoods that you think are awesome and they need to be on to this list, hit me up in the comment section below and make sure also you're subscribing to the rest of the videos on this channel because we present great information succinctly packed it down into small bits that you can handle instead of having to go read these big giant books like I'm going and doing. All right, everybody, time to move to the habit roll call of the day. All right, going over to it now. The world famous habit roll call. second the magic all seeing translucent mushy also i got my work is play stick to it oops i can't get out of the microphone my work is play by stick to it fit.com sweatshirt if you like work is play and you want one of these hoodies well too bad they're not available but if you do want one perhaps i would consider opening up a shop for people to purchase our clothing with our wonderful inspirational taglines like work is play Okay, I think we're moving over to the habit check-in now, if I can figure right. out where we're at. Jonathan Hernandez coming in hot. By the way, look, speaking of the topic, <laughs> losing my track of thought, ADHD. We made a video on yesterday about ADHD and the impact of sugar on that and recent research data that has come out, something you might want to take a look at at our YouTube channel. Jonathan Hernandez checking in this morning last week was a rough one for me in the sense of caving into my cravings, mainly caffeine. But I'm proud to say that I didn't suffer too much. I still meditated and got, and was able to spend the weekend to get more clarity. I set up a new gym routine where I'll be working out Thursdays t through Tuesdays, and I've re reset my joke writing goals with hope to do an open mic here in Arizona. P.S. I think the bingo saved me. It was enough of a variety and helped me stay grounded. I love it. Love it. Let me freaking. I think you have more to say here. Yes, he has his bingo card. Bingo, bango. Look at all those. Holy cow, he's coming for everybody. You better watch out, everybody out there. He's coming for you with that bingo card. Uh, Jonathan, I believe you said we would. Uh, you would like to chat with me about creating a fitness program for you. I'm available a lot of today, later in the day, if you would like to do that and you happen to watch this. Matt Bailey, 13 push-ups, 13 crunches. Crunchitize me, baby. <laughs> Super stoked on you, Matt Bailey, coming in hot for 13 days in a row. Very proud of your habits. You should be proud of yourself as well. Let me know if you want to get back in for some training here at Stick to It Fit as well. Mike Wasman, day 33 of reading, day 13 of PT, and day 4 of English teaching prep. Thanks for the comment. I'm writing English teaching prep for all the time I spend preparing for working and living in Japan. With my health, fitness, career, and hobbies, I have a lot of long-term goals I'm working towards. Sometimes the distance between where I am now and where I want to get can cause me to overthink and get anxious. But I had a cool realization today when looking at my planner. Thanks to this group, my habit tracking app I use every day, Clockify, and making checklists every day, in the last few months, I've really made a lot of baby steps in the right direction. Thanks for helping me set the baby steps. Boom! And that's right, baby. Congratulations to you for doing all of that hard work and the baby steps. And guess what has happened as a result? Your body is definitely looking better than it used to. I know that based on the last time I saw you, your abs were already coming out. And number two, you got your dream job once again of teaching in Japan. So I just love, love being able to watch your guys' journey like this. And congratulations to you, Michael, because I know you've been putting in so much work. You can tell. Uh, and the meditation, you've become about that. So Evelyn Price, good morning. She just gave me a live comment as well. I see you there, Evelyn. Good morning to you. Day 69 and day 70 check-ins no sugar over six grams getting the stretches and the kettlebell swings and the clean and lifts hip exercises done feeling great have a great day yesterday check-in she also has said her protein count was 136 trying to eat more meat on the bingo card you have fast for a day that would mean no protein at all that day is that okay for me um you know 
fasting is not necessarily for everyone. You probably wouldn't uh, suffer any too much decline from fasting. I would suggest if you were to do it, uh, we talk about it first. Uh, you want to make sure you're doing our fasting protocol. Uh, and secondly, you would probably also want to make sure that the next day you have a decent meal plan lined up. Uh, and then the day that you are fasting, that maybe we get some B branched chain amino acids in and some other things to help at least negate some breakdown of tissue. Uh, but I think it would be healthy for you because I don't think you've ever done that, at least recently. Uh, so if we put you through a fast, maybe you could see what kind of cleansing ability that has. I hate using the word cleanse, but it does help you give a mental rectification of yourself. You're like your mind can get reset when you haven't been eating for a while because the reward centers that say, I need food, finally shut down. They, they want, you know, there's, in the middle of the day, you might be like, oh, man, it's been so long since I've eaten. But once you've passed that point, your brain will be like, oh, I have clear thinking now. You know, I don't need to keep obsessing over food. And when you can make it to that point, you also have a lot of other benefits in your body, like breaking down cellular debris. You basically have street sweepers inside of the blood lining of your body, and those street sweepers turn on more when you haven't been eating in a while because they're like, well, there isn't a bunch of crap coming in right now, so I can actually go do my job. So you got to let your street sweepers work inside of your body, and that's what fasting can do. However, again, like I said, fasting isn't for everybody. Tracy Warner Hawkman, day 70, very little pain in the morning, so taking smaller walks throughout the day and giving my knee time to rest in between. Still doing yogurt and fruit for breakfast and chia seeds for lunch. Boom. Nice job, Tracy. I'm glad we can get you moving again. Hopefully that pain is continuing to diminish. Uh, and if you have not tried out a vibrating foam roller or a massage gun, I would recommend trying that on your knee. Uh, I will be actually releasing our line of massage guns here at Stick To It Fit. So if you're interested in a Stick To It Fit massage gun, Tracy, we may actually be releasing those quite soon. All right, uh, Sammy, day 57, chest, back, and abs, five mile jog with my dog. That's a good line. Sounds like a rap line. About to eat my meal prep and then foam roll and stretch. It's the it's the least two weeks of my fitness. Oh, sorry, excuse me. It's the last two weeks. We had a typo there. Last two weeks of my fitness challenge ends Saturday, November 21st. So it's crunch time to shred. Excellent. Wonderful. Congratulations, Sammy, for making it all the way through all of that and keeping your program going and sticking to it here with us. Thank you for being with us as usual. Do you have anything in mind for what you are going to do after you finish your challenge? Is there something else coming up for you? I know for some people, when they get into a event or a challenge or like they're preparing for a race, uh, I've been guilty of this myself many a times. I'll be doing like an obstacle course race, and so I'll start training for that. And then when it's done, my intensity and will and vigor to want to be good disappeared some because I didn't have a thing to be chasing. And this is food for thought for everybody else here. Uh, so when I decided that I was going to attempt a world record, that changed the way I approached everything. Then it was like I'm always doing a challenge because like until I do this record, it's a challenge. So it became like an indefinite date for me until I do that challenge, which changed the way I approached things really. Brandy Dryberg Stoltz. Hello, checking in. So the podcast I'm listening to is Random Interviews with David Goggins. Oh, powerful David Goggins. Not sure why, but he interests me. Probably because you have tenacity, Brandy, because you're a tenacious person. You have willpower and fortitude, and you recognize that in yourself, and you can see it through David because David is a spitting example of what being able to control your mind with discipline is. And so when you see him talking, I'm sure you're resonating with him the same way that I do sometimes. Uh, a bit of determination and discipline, but it's more than that. He talks about neuroscience and how food and exercise affects your emotions. I think we talk about that all of the time here, right? Super important. I can relate to that. Excellent. So I didn't mean to speak for you there. You told me what you relate to. Uh, so yes, definitely, and David Goggins is a good example. For some people, I can say that he is a little too abrasive. For some people, you know, he's a little too, uh, ah, you know, and you got to F-word this and man up that. But 
you know, he does have some good points, too. Uh, I read a book called Living with a Seal by Jesse Itzler. I believe that's his name. And uh, if you, I recommend this one, Brandy, if you're listening. Uh, Living with the Seal by Jesse Itzler. It, it talks about before David Goggins became like a guy in the popular media and press, before he was on the Joe Rogan podcast and before he blew up. Um, he was a Navy SEAL, but he also uh, he came to live with Jesse Itzler for a little while, and he put Jesse Itzler through like the fire. He put him through the ringer. Like he made him do push-ups. He would wake him up in the middle of the night and say, "It's time to go," you know, and stuff like that. With his wife sitting right next to him, put him to work out. Uh, it was a really fascinating book, and it got me motivated. So I recommend listening to that book. It was a good listen. Iggy Ignofo. Sorry for the lack of check-ins. This weekend was a rough one for me. My daily medication got out of whack last week, and it all caught up to me this weekend. I pushed myself to be as active as I could, yard work, housework, but I could not get myself into the basement to lift or ride. What I did do was meal plan and prep for the week, knowing I'm going to be back to normal soon. Food will be my big focus for the next two and a half months, so I will be checking in with my protein count for the day with goal of 150 to 170. Excellent. Just like Evelyn, he's taking after her on that one. Kudos to you, Iggy. And kudos to you, Evelyn, for leading the charge on that one. I had a massage this morning and then got up, lifted, and rode the bike this afternoon before work. We're glad you're back at it, Graham. Feeling much better and lifting felt amazing today. Today's protein is currently at 147 with one meal today to go. John P. Smith Jr. Bam. Day 15 of stairs. Walked 10 flights plus sprinted two. Oh, oh, dude. Can I get a freaking muscle emoji in here? Uh, you guys have to bear with me while I freaking muscle emoji him. Because the dude is fire right now. He's killing it. He's killing it. Thank you, John P. Smith, for following through and being a man of your word here. Sticking to your commitments and sticking to your guns. Molly Sue Stoltz checking in today. I did some yoga on for my bingo sheet. Bam. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Molly Appreciate you for doing a check-in with us and being a part of the squad. If you have any questions or concerns, we're here for you. And also, might I recommend taking a visit to our YouTube channel and subscribing. I have lots and lots of content there to help you out with whatever you might be trying to work at. And then Iggy, I put up a video of him doing his work just because I think it's fun to watch others in the group actually doing the things they say, say they're doing. So I'm posting that up as well. We can watch Iggy here doing his 15 continuous reps at 205. Even though he had a rough weekend for himself, he came back, wiped it all off, and said, we're starting new, but still keeping off where we left off, right? And that's the mistake a lot of people make is that, you know, it's completely normal and okay. And as a matter of fact, you'd be a freakazoid if you didn't have times in your life where you're like, I'm not feeling right right now. That is normalcy. That is part of being a human being. The issue lies is when after you return from that, where do you return to? Do you return back to this very low baseline? Do you return to binge eating? Do you return to regret and then just hiding behind computer screens and phones and TVs? Or like Graham here and by the way we all do all of these things so it's not like I'm better than anybody it's like I watch podcasts and YouTube when I shouldn't be all the time so uh, Graham here is what I'm saying is he's returned back to the 15 count where he left off because he's diligently tracking and that is what people are not doing in the gym they're not bringing their books they're not logging in what they're doing or they're not going home and writing it down afterward and so what we're doing here is staying focused on one specific movement and he's got this movement the deadlift we've anchored him to the deadlift he's anchored himself he's got the beastie boys playing it's always the same song it's always the same movement it's at the same place it's around the same times he's got it dialed in and now he's right back at it at 15 and he's going to be at 16 tomorrow instead of falling off and being what we call here a quick to quit he's not a quick to it quick to quit he is a stick to it all right, everybody. I think that's all the check-ins. I went on for a long time anyway. I doubt there's anybody even left here. So stick to it to get to it. I'm Trainer Steve. I'm out. Also, make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel. Ah. You gotta stick to it to get to it.